a game where you have roughly a seven to eight percent chance of clicking on something that is not going to take you directly to a store to buy something. Oh, stumble, buddy. Uh, <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with tonight on our post holiday here in the States edition, where everyone's still recovering. They're full of turkey. They've shoved their microwaves full of turkey and oatmeal golems. <laughs> Turkey's giving. Yay. <laughs> Turkey's Thanks, giving turkey. you something, man. Uh, Tur- then- turkey going to give it to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, last month wait was it last month that we had the canadian thanksgiving yes all right Octo- uh, it's it's in october in, in october Canada. thanksgiving jordan and uh in Britannia, where I don't they, they're know. not thankful for anything Nothing. they just take no <laughs> they don't celebrate the day that they kill the locals no <laughs> the, the well like the british don't say thanks for anything do they 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 just they, they just kind of say cheers assume, yeah. <laughs> together with you chat room dynamic watching us live helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What's up? What's new? So, I tried to avoid the holiday thing. Because I don't want to stand around and watch other people eat turkey and shit like that. And I've never, like, had that as, uh, like, I didn't grow up with it. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. Managed to do good until, like, 11.45 that morning. And I get the call. You want to come over? I'm like, nope. Doing some stuff. Playing some games. Like, Maybe I'll come hang out for a minute. All right. We go do that. And I'm hanging, my buddy John, he's a drumming, he's not a drumming professor, but I know him because he hangs out with hippies, but he's a UGA professor that teaches music. He's got family, got some friends over, playing some games. Wife's like, yo, I'm going to be cooking. I'm like, cool. Like, we're missing some ingredients. I'm like, you're fucked. (laughs) (laughs) So we start searching around and we're like, is anything open? And it's like side dish type stuff, man. It wasn't no big deal. And uh, we found the local store here, Bell's was open and me and john's like all right we're gonna pop over there real quick because they're like open for thanksgiving short drive we get in we grab a cart as soon as you pull the cart out click store will be closing in five minutes <laughs> speed shopping <laughs> we did it man we did it i i got potatoes i got ranch dressing i got sausage he got like drinks we, we split up immediately and like ran then we both got angry because we're in a line for another five minutes after that of course <laughs> hurry up and wait <sighs> it was a little bit dead. but then i got home and um me and jordan we played diablo one mm-hmm. old school diablo relatively painless experience yes like multiplayer too and we're like okay we clicked that on and 45 minutes into the stream we discovered the Z key the zoom button yeah, because, you know, it turns out, you know, it, it helps to, like, e- even though the, the screen is displaying at, like, mm-hmm. 1080p or whatever, mm-hmm. it's a game that was designed for, like, 640 by 480 maximum, mm-hmm. so <laughs> things are a little hard to see <laughs> go, going on. Zoom, zooming in helps. A little zooming in helps. Everything was, like, super small. Like, dude, you're not even joking. Like, I was having trouble getting through doors because I'm playing in, like, a window, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, I couldn't tell whether or not a door was open. Then, like, 45 minutes into that, I'm like, oh. I think Katana like typed that, or you know, you you felt it because you- I was looking. Yeah, I was looking for hotkeys, and I'm like, oh, oh, that I found the zoom button. <laughs> yeah, it was a smooth experience though. Like networking wise, we didn't have too much of a problem. Like, yeah. I don't think uh, we- controller works out of the box. Yeah. It has some, it has some weird key bindings, but like, I I think oh, I think they're the PlayStation bindings. That would make sense if they're the PSX bindings. Oh, uh, for like uh, just inherit the Diablo three console. No, for yeah. Di- Diablo 1. Diablo 1 had a release on PSX. Oh, uh, all right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way, ba- way back when, back in the day. StarCraft had a release on the N64, which is the more puzzling one, on- honestly. I kind of want to watch somebody play that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's, a, there's an SDD, GDQ speedrun of yeah, that. Yeah, right. Oh, man, yeah. Blindfolded upside down in a water tank. Yeah. With li- <sighs> limited oxygen supply. <laughs> Shot beat the at, ga- right? Yeah, beat, beat the game or you die, bitch. <laughs> How about you, Jordan Swang? Anything new and interesting going on? Nothing, nothing no? super, nothing super new and interesting. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 been pretty dull. 
I, I got some stuff on on the Steam sale because now now I'm like now that I have a capable GPU, I'm like, what are the DX12 games that I've been purposefully avoiding? Yeah, and yeah, so I, I grabbed I grabbed a couple of those. Oh, what about the Black Friday thing? Did you? Uh... I oh uh, I I got a bunch of house shit for Black Friday. Oh, look at you being all adult. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I got yeah. What, what what did I get? I got like a coffee grinder. And, That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I opened up like the studio wish list and I looked at it and like the headphone thing that's been on sale, like get fucked. And I continued on about my day. That was it. Oh, I I did get one of those cheapo uh, Steam uh, deck stands on Amazon. Okay. I found out why it was so cheap. It was because the, the USB hub is only two USB 2.0 ports, but it's like, well, whatever, honestly, like <laughs> what, 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 what am I plugging into the Steam deck that requires USB 3.0 aside from the charger? Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Pedro Mateus, you got a new headset. You're very happy about it. You're excited about it. You wanted to show everybody and be like, oh man, this thing is the coolest thing ever. It's probably like been thieved off somebody because it didn't come with a receiver, but I got it really yeah, cheap. Though. Uh, they're, they're supposed to come with a uh, little wireless 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver, but this one didn't have it. But it was also like 10% of the price uh, that they cost brand new, at least the current day models. The, the, this one's like the model from three years ago, I think. Uh, but it does some clever things. It's the Polyfocus UC, or Plantronics Focus UC, as it used to be called. Uh, they, yeah, no, it does the automatic switching between uh, the low uh, bitrate audio when it detects that anything is connected to the microphone. Like, if you in so much as open Pavu control and you have like Katya or QPW graph open and it creates the connection to the microphone, it immediately drops you to a little bit of rhythm. It's like, oh, look at that. Real clever. But uh, no, the interesting thing this week is I got my first motoring fine. <laughs> All right. You speed Were you demon. speeding? <laughs> no, I drove in the bus lane. <laughs> That's even worse. I I had no idea that was a bus lane. It was nighttime. I've never been to that part of Cambridge before. I, yeah. That's good. It was for buses only. I mean, <laughs> did, did, did he say anything about all of the lockpicks in the passenger seat? No. <laughs> it was an automated thing because they have the camera set up. Like, when I drove past oh, there, I had no idea know. that was a bus right. lane. You just got that in the mail, uh, buddy. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I got that so, in the mail, uh, and they sent me to a website that has a little video, and you could see my car driving into the thing with the sign to say bus lane. like, oops. Yeah, no, oops. I'll pay the, the 35 pounds. That's fine. Well, I just like this <laughs> idea of Pedro keeping his locks, lock picks in the passenger seat so he can drive in the <laughs> HOV lane. It's like, yeah, it's carpooling. <laughs> this, this is my buddy Lockpickio. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm, I'm, I'm driving him to work <laughs> oh man little bobby drop tables that 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 my first ever motoring uh, fly. <laughs> uh driving in the our, bus our, line <laughs> our little pedro has become a man just like the horse <laughs> well you know what i i'm just glad you didn't find out about it uh by because there's a couple of spots i don't know out in cambridge at this point but uh where they have the risers uh no oh, the, 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 if it had ball urns <laughs> Yes. Well, these things disappear when the bus is there, and like you can oh. find videos online. As soon as the bus goes mm -hmm. over, they go whoop, and they come right back up. And they're like, "That will remind you real quick. You're in a bus lane when your car's yeah, right around." No, there. that 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 one didn't have that. And when, when your car gets flipped, <laughs> that's a residential area, and people with permits can drive in the bus lane there as long as they have the permit because they're residents. But as long yeah, as no, you're legally I, a bus, <laughs> I did not, and. Yeah, no, that was on me. Absolutely, I'll I'll, I'll pay the thirty five pounds. That's fine. <laughs> but yes, I, I don't think the horse is uh, ever going to qualify for a bus pass or get on a bus. I, I don't. I don't think the horse is going to qualify for his bar mitzvah. It's the steed. Sale. I wonder how many millions of views that has on it, and how mad that person is because they couldn't monetize it. Right. Yeah. I'm like oh that make me so mad you you make it for the art right <laughs> <laughs> yeah until it starts getting a million views and you're like man steam autumn sale 2023 it is live big seasonal blowout is upon us and that's bullshit because uh it's another steam sale anything to get excited about i don't know man because i went through my wish zone like i sure a lot of you did you know you get your little wish list of games or maybe you have an extensive wish list of games maybe you found something i didn't i didn't the best I saw was for, you guessed it, if you follow me, 
70% off it takes two, which is always 15 bucks. And, uh, I did see Gotham Knights was $11 and I'm not necessarily interested in that, but I thought about adding it, adding it just to my abandoned superhero game collection, which abandons I'm, DC superhero game collection. Well, I, do, you don't have, I have a Marvel have one stacking up. Yeah, I do. I do. Ooh, okay. Never mind. That. I, I got that for a buck ninety nine. <laughs> like the <laughs> ultimate edition. Like, that, that, d- d- does it come with the Verizon skin for Spider Man? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, did you guys see anything? Yeah. I, so I grabbed uh, Control Complete because I had the free version from uh, Epic Game Store, and this one had all the DLC, and it was like th- thirteen bucks. So I'm okay. Um, I grabbed Tana t- the Tana Tana's Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Mm-hmm. That was that was twenty bucks, and I, I guess I'm tired of waiting for it. Uh, and I grabbed Call of Cthulhu because that was six bucks, and I saw a playthrough of it, and I thought that was a really cool like single player like horror shooter game. I okay. wanted to check it out. Yeah, no, I, I from my wish list, this is a pretty boring sale. There was one game in my wish list that was seventy five percent off. Weird West, although Hidden Harbor three D top down. Uh, eight. Hidden Hidden Har- Harbor three D top down. What we're looking at right now. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, I, uh, Weird West, it, it, it's also a top down game, it's like isometric <laughs> in perspective. Yes, <laughs> You're missing yes. out on Monkey versus Dino currently yeah. 99% Dino. off, mm-hmm. and it's 1466. If, 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 if you're watching the audio version, you are missing out Dude. on uh, a, a man beating up a Deinonychus with, with, a, with a ball. <laughs> yes. I'll probably still buy Weird West, though, because yeah, 75% off is a good enough price. It's like eight pounds, so I might actually pick it up. Mm. The worst part about Monkey vs. Dino is that it isn't multiplayer. Dude, if- I see, even at that price, I think we would have at least get two copies of it so we could try right, it. Right. right. Yeah, got, got to try the network <laughs> multiplayer. Another thing that's going on, if you've been keeping track, is the Steam Awards. Yes. A couple of categories. Uh, 11 categories. Game of the Year, VR Game of the Year Award, Labor of Love, Best Game on Steam Deck Award, Better with Friends. Outstanding visual art, uh, most innovative, uh, best game you suck at award. All right. Uh, which one do we want to pick? We'll, we'll pick one and vote. <laughs> do, do you want to go for the big controversial one, the game of the year one? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let, let's go find out. Gollum, okay. Gollum, Gollum, yes. Gollum. <laughs> let's, let's get my <laughs> nominats in here. Track Mania. Ask Creed Valhalla. Con- hey, Candria. That oh, came out this year? Or is are you I just, get- huh? Uh, no, that, the, the, that's the recommendations of based on games you've played. Then the middle one is the one that the developers make their case, and then there's mm-hmm. the suggestions from people uh, at the bottom. How, how can we nominate a game from 2022, though? I, I think you can. <laughs> Track Mania. <laughs> well, I, I said Valhalla uh, 2023, but. Well, how oh, is 2022 is what I'm saying. I, th- I think I think mm-hmm. it came out on Steam 2023 though, right? Because it was uh, it was uh, you play only for a while. Those are just the games you played. If you go, if you click the arrow to go on, you'll probably find even older games. <laughs> uh, the ooh, game of the year. So game of the year doesn't matter what year it was released. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can start. The Darkest Dungeon 2 came out this or I guess I got released yes. on Steam. Oh, there you go. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yes. We're going to skip that category because I don't like any of these. Uh, <laughs> Labor and of it, Love. Uh, not, but, just don't vote up for Baldur's Gate no matter what you do. Doesn't okay. matter if it's the most deserving <laughs> one. Games we suck at. Uh, Remnant. For, Street Fighter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that. There, there, there's a fair case to be made for SF6. Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is a strong contender. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anonymous Hacker Simulator. Mortal Kombat <laughs> One. Bunch of fighter games. Uh, bzz. Amnesia, <laughs> Amnesia the Warrior. Warrior. All right. Vacuum, Vacuum Warrior, Warrior sucks, from what I hear. <laughs> Blasphemous <laughs> Eliza P. All right. Blasphemous Eliza P. Okay. Yeah. Those are those are strong contenders. Yes. What's Oxalto? Oh, it's the. It's Hotline Miami, but in monochrome. (laughs) That game. Remnant 2. Um, Oh, Armored Core. Remember that game that came out? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, the the Not Souls uh, from software game. Mm -hmm. Well, well, that was the thing. Like, it came out, and then two weeks later, Starfield came out, and everyone's like, oh, well, you know, we're getting on this other sci-fi game. Then everybody played Starfield, and they're like, oh, well, you know, about the... (laughs) This is a bit shit. (laughs) Yep. A little bit. But hey, it's if game, you want, game of the year. 
Game of the year, man. I don't know, man. Baldur's Gate 3 is probably going to win it. We were talking about in our pre-pre super shows. And go back and listen to that if you're a patron. Uh, about uh, what checks are going to get cashed at the uh, Game Awards this year. And then mm. we're going to see what <laughs> Nintendo title. And if they dare, if they dare try to bring out Starfield as Game of the Year material type thing. You're like, mm. I, I, I wonder. It's like, no, we've kid. Sorry, Jeff. We just kidnapped Hideo Kojima. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't give the awards our way, we'll kill him. Right. <laughs> Oh, it's like dude. the best Xbox exclusive of the year, probably. Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, uh, if you want to play with your Red Xbox Fall. controller, you can uh, take use of this next update. Well, you can. Yeah. You can do it with Xbox and PlayStation. Mostly just PlayStation. We talked about it uh, a couple weeks ago, but it's live now. Uh, DualShock and DualSense compatibility. Uh, these controllers right here. They have a lot of features that stuff like these controllers right here don't. Uh, so... Some folks make games that take advantage of them, especially if they're uh, PlayStation ports. So now, uh, via Steam input, there is a way exposed to sell you uh, whether or not a game is going to have good DualSense or DualShock uh, support so that it'll vibrate or you'll get like the color changing or the haptics or the dynamic pressure trigger sensors or whatever. Um, but then like, it's a good thing because these are very expensive controllers and you would want to make sure that they work with the games that you're trying to play. What I want to know is who's no, going to be the fucking... This. Dude, I love. Why does Valve care about controllers on PC? I, I agree. You've made your choice, you PC heathen. You should have to play with a keyboard and mouse. You, no, you gotta you gotta play with. Um, I don't know, like the old Microsoft Sidewinder joysticks. <laughs> to be fair, you're uh, for the uh, like the Steam. Uh, what what are they called? The Steam Record or the Steam whatever for year 2022. Ninety percent of my time playing games on PC was with a keyboard and mouse. So. Yeah, <laughs> but so we were, we were talking. We were talking about the PlayStation Portal. I wonder, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get support for that ever in Steam input? Will that work with like Chiaki or something? I don't know. You, you see the uh, me diagram of somebody who would buy one of those damn things versus somebody with a gaming PC. <laughs> and like you, you, yeah. you could just get a Steam Deck too, which will literally do the same thing and play games without a network connection. But like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's neat. I mean, I noticed yeah. it because it's like a little pop up. It was in the uh, Steam betas. It like popped up a little screen. Like that is irritating. Go away. <laughs> yeah, it only shows up the first time that you start the game. It's like, okay, this game doesn't natively support your Dual Shock or your Dual Sense, but it's very good to see. And like Jordan already mentioned, there's but a couple Pedro, of that things. That window needs an if statement <laughs> with hours played. Like if 100 yes. plus <laughs> hours played, probably fucking knows. <laughs> But yeah, no, for like new games coming out that have the haptic, uh, like the feedback on the triggers that the dual sense supports or, or like the fancy light stuff that it can do, or even the, because it has like a speaker in the controller. So, uh, if it can use that, if it can make use of all of that, then absolutely. Hello, and computer. if you plug it in, uh, I, I don't think it shows up over Bluetooth, but if you plug it in and then you have a look at Pavu Control, you can see the controller in there. That's that's yeah, an audio device. Treats it as one. For now sure. I want the haunted control. I want a poltergeist. Like, I want this thing chasing me around the house screaming at me. There, there, <laughs> were, there were a couple PS4 games that took advantage of that. That was pretty neat. Spider-Man uh, actually did that. Famously, the, the PT calls. demo. Yes, as yeah. well. Yeah. Read like scream at it or something. Yeah, I, I remember uh, Flibbit saying that he got the uh, like the light bars for the dual shock, mm -hmm. got that to sync up with the color of your character in Towerfall. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's like really small but really neat stuff that is specific to the dual shocks and the dual senses. But it'd be nice to have. It's it's, <laughs> ni it's nice to have that support. Like, yeah. and again, I I really want to see if someone can get this shit working with the with the portal. Cause like I wonder what I wonder if you could do some like weird like asymmetrical gameplay with that. I want I want to see like split screen Dead by Daylight. With Somebody just buy this boy a Wii U controller. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's probably it. there's probably better support for the Wii U controller for that. <laughs> oh, absolutely yes. That that's just, that shit's been out for way too long that for is, it to not yeah, be supported under Linux. Is like I would be shocked if I yeah paired that and it didn't immediately <laughs> pop up with like bindings and like yeah. yeah. No, 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 just like ah, you've connected a, a, a fucking <laughs> there's a new display Wii U. right. Oh, oh yeah. okay. <laughs> would you like to add this as a new display right? <laughs> 
hey, if you're not happy with regular ordinary Proton, this is kind of built in to Steam. You can get the extra fancy stuff, you know, with the uh, lacquery hairdo and the sparkly cowboy boots and then the spoiler on the back and it drives in two bus lanes. And Someone uh, <laughs> needs to buy Eggy some sparkly cowboy boots. <laughs> I know he's got a banana suit. He's done the banana peanut butter jelly time song. There's a video of that going around. The <laughs> uh proton ge version uh 824 has been released uh they've uh basically there's uh the proton fix and a bunch of uh upstream proton fixes like the nv api updates and the uh support for codex has been brought to proton g that's available this is also the uh if you use lutris for any reason can't figure out why we, you'd want to, but uh, the default version of Wine for Lutris is very similar to Proton G. Uh, so a lot of these changes are also present in the uh, Lutris version, and I know that because I've been trying a bunch of old games, and <laughs> D8VK is now a thing. It is absolutely one of the biggest uh, introductions to Proton. Uh, so very good job on that one, Aggie. The, uh, they also enabled Indio Video 5. If you have any games that use the Indio Video codec, you might remember that from back in the day. Um, those, a lot of those already work just thanks to that. And, um, what was the other thing? Oh, right. The, the previous version, you still had to use Wine Tricks to do it, but now it's just there. So... Uh, yeah, go play with it. If you have any old DirectX 8 games, try it out. They might D8 just work VK. properly. You know? That's what you and Strider were, um, talking to each other about in Discord earlier this week, right? Yeah, it, what that was, that was about before, Big before Mother so. Truckers. <laughs> Big Mother Truckers. Yeah. I remember, Mother. I vaguely remember that game. I, that's all I remember, like, what are you playing, man? But yeah, uh, DX8 had a run, kids, man. I mean, it did. Uh, Still games in 2022 with the releases going all the way back to 1991. We pulled that up on the PC gaming wiki. Yeah, and, someone did a DX8 port for another world. But mm -hmm. Chicken Invaders 5 and other classics like Hyper Princess Pitch. 100% uh, <laughs> orange juice. And, <laughs> oh, Inquisitor. I have that game. I okay. didn't know that I had a direct X8 renderer. <laughs> Dude, there's so many of these, like mini golf dream courses, and uh, I, it, it's basically like, did, was it on Xbox? It's probably DX8. Yeah, hey, fear Perseus mandate, dude. Uh, Nitro stunt racing, all the things, and um, this is disabled by default. You got to cut it on, but you don't have to worry about it because uh, we talked about it back in May. It went 1.0, so it should basically work. work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is great. What, what, what is the advantage of having like D9VK, D8VK, Jordan? Is it just going to make things faster? Why don't I have to use the OpenGL or something? I, so I, I, think, I think the main thing is just having it all natively implemented in Vulkan. Um, not, not, having to, or not having to like deal with translation subsystems and just having the library lie to the application say, Oh, absolutely, this is directx8.dll. Don't, don't question anything. We're, ret we're returning the exact numbers and arrays and shit that you're expecting. Uh, so it's, I, I, it, it probably makes it a lot easier to, uh, fix bugs with specific games as well, because D9, VK, uh, D, VK, D3D, they're all on separate release cadences from wine proper. Mm -hmm. So if they identify issues, uh, they can fix them before wine needs to get around to doing it, which means allows wine to focus more on the actual system compatibility stuff, which I think is arguably more important now that we have the graphics stuff kind of it's probably like a good thing for like your steam deck right like your classic yes. game library yes. like oh, oh, yeah, if, if, if you want to play uh morrowind without open mw on your steam deck mm. true retro something that you couldn't play in your steam deck recently kids uh this week <laughs> in fact hunt showdown this is a post i saw on linux underscore gaming over on the reddit it was fun while it lasted from less butterscotch 937 and uh yeah apparently they did the update to the eac and uh whatever they were using and it just uh no longer worked like womp womp you want to try it and they wrote back because apparently this person like sent a message they're like hey by the way this game that i bought that is playing on my steam deck and by the way you know not just like out of nowhere because this game was listed as uh playable on the steam store by valve but they wrote back uh the developers of hunt showdown they took a break from making skins and dlc that you should be buying 
And they said, we investigated the matter further. And the Steam store page was not added by us, but by Steam testers. It's just added by Valve, which means our, Steam, our team doesn't officially support Steam Deck and Linux. That said, we'll try to have it fixed. Now, the happy ending of this, oh, and by the way, they're like, we can't guarantee that this is ever going to get fixed. Not our mm-hmm. problem. But yeah, the happy ending is, yeah, it did get But by the way, he runs Arch. Uh, Bloody Burger does. Uh, it's working again. FR question mark. No way as the kids might say. And that's pretty good. Uh, That's good. But that's something you really need to be aware of, like getting that playable thing. That's completely automatic. There's no interaction between the developer and uh, Valve saying, yeah, you can play this on the deck. And if we click on this game and we take a look at it, and all this week, this never changed. This never changed. Ratings. Ratings never changed. We don't get, hey, here comes some pictures. I was like, did they just pull the game or something? If we scroll down, we get playable, right? Yeah. We click on that. What do we get? A little bit of a warning. A little bit of a warning. You know, entering some text requires manually invoking the on-screen keyboard. Fair enough. Some in game, you know, just that generic thing. But all functionality is accessible. The game shows Steam Deck controller icons. The default graphic configuration performs well on the Steam Deck. This was just like this all week long, even when it's like, you just can't get online and play anything. Well, to, to, your, to your point, even if it's like, verified that doesn't even mean that the developer did anything to do that right all it means is that it passes all those check boxes so you can theoretically have uh, steam deck verified games that the developers are like no we, we don't we don't support this at all uh um, well, i do know you have to apply to get your game steam deck verified weren't they weren't they like uh doing th- they had an automation you process have to that was submit because ah. i've seen enough developers like we've just uh, submitted our game for a verification and we're waiting on Valve to get back to us. So so it's possible that someone one of one of the devs are like, yeah, we'll just submit this. We it's a new tech box or whatever. But I guess I guess that's like the that's one of the unavoidable consequences of Proton being a part of Steam now, is that that support onus is now on Valve itself. Mm-hmm. Um so a lot you you will run into these situations quite often where uh where you'll be like, hey, this game was working and now it's not. Developer, aren't you going to do anything about it? It's like, we never said you could play. What the fuck are you deck. talking about? Didn't, <laughs> get out of here with your nerd ass Game Boy. No. I'm not, we don't support Although, that. Thing. And, and, and to and be like, fair, so, so, so. in those respects, uh, Valve has actually been pretty good because we've had a couple of games that pulled their versions from Steam, Rocket League. Uh, and Valve went, okay, we don't care how many hours you have in it. We don't care how long you've owned the game. You can have a refund. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's good. And, but that's and, very and, good. Like, so, some, and sometimes you get like a bungee who will just flat out tell you, no, don't fucking do this. We'll ban your ass. Yeah. And, and uh, some, sometimes you get this. Sometimes that, I mean, that, you know? that's still causing the developers to have to be proactive, you know, because yes. like, let's face it, like Steam's mission is to sell you games because money. Like, yes. But I do believe that um, that playable notification could actually do with just a little more booga booga in it for. And the reason it's not for us, it's not for you listening to the show. You know this. You're like, yeah, all right, you know, buyer beware. We got to watch out because, you know, protons are not perfect. But as the Steam Deck becomes more and more mainstream, these are people who just bought a gaming console, man. Mm-hmm. They don't have PC. They're like, no, I won't try this PC gaming thing out on Steam Deck. I just buy that and play the games. Oh, it says it's playable. What it should say, <laughs> <laughs> blinking text is, this game could suddenly stop working at any time on your device because of reasons and there's fuck all you can do about it. Don't PS, don't bug that's the developer. That scares sales away. <laughs> I know, but what I just said was like, Ben, that sounds awfully harsh and mean, but it's 100% accurate. That is your reality. Mm-hmm. Be, be, I, I, I'm just I, thinking I, about I, like long term. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it does damage when, you know, your filthy casual shows up and just wants the handheld gaming experience. Like, I just spent 40 bucks on this game yesterday. Why doesn't work today? I, I mean, like, I, I wonder how much of that could also be addressed by just having like a separate system requirements for Steam Deck and just be like, if, if it's not explicitly listed, don't even, that, don't even. Yeah. The, having that listed would constitute a fairly explicit show of support. <laughs> now, no, yeah. here, here's a question. I don't have a Steam Deck. Both of you do. By mm-hmm. default, does it show non verified games? Yes. Uh, yes, but it will it will put verified games higher up on the list. Than yeah, it will very much steer you. It's like, look for this, uh, like the verified and the playable, mm. and you can filter the store by just great games on the yeah. deck. Yeah, the, the, the default page is great on deck, and that is yeah. all exclusively <laughs> verified. So, 
I mean, we'd all just like gamble with it. Uh, cause, I mean, hey, we can probably find a way to make and, it work. Or, and even then, like, oh, wait it out. Like, again, e- like, Eggy's putting out releases pretty frequently. Like, probably by the time we're done this podcast, there will be a new Proton <laughs> GE out, uh, as, is, as is tradition, that will fix a whole plethora of new issues that have come up. So, mm-hmm. like, yeah, you, know, you never know. But uh, then again, to the type of person that would install uh, Proton GE on their Steam Deck. Yes. Like casuals yeah. never going to go into Linux. They're never going to drop out of the shell. They're, they're, they're like, yeah, yeah. click game, play game, play game, no work. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Agre- agreed for sure. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, just think about it. Think about it. Bring back the blink tag. You can do it. <laughs> Bring back marquee tags. I need scrolling. HTML that I need to wait. <laughs> right. Oh, Pedro. I thought this game was dead. So did I, <laughs> but I saw the notification show up on my, uh, Steam client at the top part of the news uh, in the library where it's, they show up now. Like, oh, Pocket Cars. Yes, indeed. Uh, I like Pocket Cars, so let's have a look. They have version not point eighty six point not. It's out. You can play it. Um, it it's still in early access, of course it is. Uh, they, <laughs> uh, there's new weapons. They have like four new weapons. Um, you have a new car, which they say they're going to be doing a total of four new cars. It's a big monster truck school bus looking thing skull uh, bus dude somebody yeah. spent literal minutes modeling that that is that is <laughs> that looks like something auto from the simpsons made literally mm. that 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 just looks like they took the uh that they, they like the two rear axle w- were just copied one from the other <laughs> but it is yeah no they have uh, a few more things and i genuinely like pocket cars That's because fun. the the fit, yeah, the, how the physics work, and it's a radio control racing game. So the way the physics work and the the power ups work and everything, it's really fun. It's really well done. It needs a bit more because even if you look at say Revolt from 1999 or 2000, whenever that game came out, it has so much more stuff. There's a lot more content in that, and it this just needs a bit more. So I'm very much looking forward to what they're doing, and I hope that they stick with it. It might take a while, but it is a fun game. And like the physics and the racing and the speed, that's all in place. It just needs more stuff now. I got to think when I think about this game, um, we played it. We did a stream where me and you played around in it, and it was very limited. Like Mm -hmm. multiplayer did work, and it's got a uh, Linux version, all that together. But this is their first update in eight months there are games that have went into early access and shipped that are rc racing games <laughs> since this game got an update like you can't maintain momentum in a community things you need for an online multi nobody's playing the game <laughs> despite it being a fun game and i'm sure everybody has one at least one of these types of games in your library like there's nothing technically wrong with the game it's fun it's enjoyable to play nobody plays it Oh, like, yeah, I mean, I like these updates. This is a great update. Hey, you got a school bus in there. But instead of doing the big chonky updates, man, just like, think about it, especially if you're developing a game, working on a game, communications is key. Radio silence for eight months, then an update out of nowhere. That's not good for sales. That's not good for your community. Jordan, why am I wrong? Um, Because your head is shoved all the way up your butt to the point where it looks normal. <laughs> got it. Um. <laughs> No, I, I, I mean it's yeah. I mean it's right there, that, and that's the sad reality about a lot of these uh, these multiplayer games is that like you you can have a very solid game, but like it, it, it it's it's like being a politician. Half of your job is just get is campaigning to get elected for the next time around, and the other half is actually like working on your stuff. Oh, so I guess half, I don't need yeah. the shovel then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but so yeah, like you 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 got to spend time and effort cultivating that community, and without it, um. Yeah, it's not. It's, and, and you're not, you're this not is just your it. hobby project, then fuck us. That, I mean, <laughs> yeah. 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 At, at, which, at which point, like, why the fuck do you care what we have to say? Right? right? Like, yeah. you have an awesome hobby project <laughs> that I'm in. Good of. job on the hobby yeah. project. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody uh, picked up the banana phone, Pedro. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, it is, uh, it's the news. Just in case you're uh, wondering why we're ring, not talking ring. about video games specifically. 
We got to talk about uh, NVIDIA drivers. Yeah. It's uh, NVK. We've been talking about it ever since it was first announced. Calabra have been doing a lot with it uh, over the past couple of months. And um, they're compliant with Vulkan 1.0, but they're compliant. Uh, They, as of today, or the time which was November 20th, they are uh, Vulcan 1.0 uh, compliant, and they're still legally not allowed to say that uh, as far as the Mesa project is concerned. That's why the driver is still in an experimental state, but that will be uh, basically uh, hammered out as they get more and more uh, extensions working. And yes, it is just Vulcan 1.0, which came out a few years ago so a lot of like dxvk2 um and a few other like vkd 3d the new vkd 3d might not work entirely well but i very much look forward to this getting to the point that it provides a valid alternative to I mean, uh, uh, the proprietary there, drivers there. Uh, but thank you to mark <laughs> over at collaboras in an email like Psst, you know talk about the thing like we're, we're the type of show that's like yeah, we're talking about this. This is cool as fuck. Yes. <laughs> um, Vulcan 1.0. Yeah, that is your most basic bitch. First one point, as it says on the tin, right? You're like, wait a minute. Is this now it's 1.0? Where are we at right now? You're asking 1.3. Um, so we still got some waiting to do, but you know, if you have an app that is 1.0 compliant and naturally older, this should in theory, not only be able to run it to be performant using Nuvo, not two things that normally would dwell Nuvo and performance so kind of interesting to see but um where's my mantle support <laughs> it's it, it's coming <laughs> don't worry well yeah we're, we're we're not we're not anywhere near a point where we can get like a serious answer about like what's the performance look like compared to the nvidia driver technically um, works te- yeah te- and like i, I to, to pedro's point about how um they're like ah it's, we can't call it vulcan 1.0 because Cronus hasn't certified it it's, the the blog post also says Although people who are reading this blog post probably don't care and want to try it out anyways. Mm-hmm. So there's, there's, there's nothing stopping you from actually using the code. Um, yeah, but it's, it's going to be a crazy moon future where we have stable and working open source NVIDIA graphics from the bottom up because we have like the open source, like NVIDIA kernel module We've got MVK. Now Nouveau is getting the new, uh, Jordan, backend compiler. It's, it's bizarre. What are the kids that are new to Linux going to use as their excuse? Because they bought an AMD card when they were using one those and they want to like dunk on something. Uh, I think they're just going to move to Intel cards. <laughs> but those kind of worked on Linux when they were. Uh, I mean, uh, right, right, but that's not going to stop them from coming up with an excuse, right? Well, no, when, no, when, I mean, when has FUD ever been accurate? <laughs> and video cards don't work on the desktop, Jordan, don't you know? Have you not been using Linux for the last 25 years? <laughs> no. <laughs> when AT, I uh, couldn't figure out what a Linux was. I didn't know which end of the, the penguin to start. Yeah. FGLRX, yeah. that, those were the dark days. But uh, no, they, they do say that it will only be available for Turing to start with. There are some people working on the Maxwell and Pascal because Maxwell and Pascal are Turing. very, very similar. Is, so uh, uh, pa- pa- Pascal is the one I'm really looking forward to, like having the, the, the 1080 Ti just being completely open yeah. source. That'll, that'll be good, so. Was I a good GPU? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, you were very good. GPU. Very much so. NVIDIA will never make that mistake again. <laughs> it, NVIDIA overbuilt that fucker to compete with something that AMD never released. So, oh, Jordan, I think NVIDIA learned their lesson. <laughs> yes, they did. Hey, yeah. you, 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 are you sure you don't want eight gigs of VRAM? You sure? I can, you, you don't want to pay another thousand dollars for we'll that? Six for that Watch us. <laughs> oh, hang on. Do, do you want the card lower than that with 16 gigs on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not for mining what are you talking about oh low oh, hash rate you guys <laughs> yeah. Dude. lhr well, well you know you know uh nvidia isn't the only people getting cool shit on the graphics side on linux vkd 3d 2.11 is out and it has a bunch of dxr fixes uh, it's now enabled for default, except in the case of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, <laughs> which specifically has an override in the game to just turn it on anyway. So they're just like, we're, we're, we're not, we're not going to double DXR. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it for Hellblade. Do it for everyone else. Um, DX12 Ultimate is now also fully exposed on turning an RDNA 2 plus. This is so cool. Now, now I get to look at these stories and be like, oh, hey, I got a cool new Dota to play with. <laughs> 
suck it, my old 1080 Ti. I was talking about how great a card you were. Triangle Piece fan. Of shit. Triangle fan. <laughs> it's supported. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of uh, ray tracing fixes as well for uh, Cyberpunk 2077, which should stop the GPU hangs. So I got to try that out because I was getting a bunch of those when I was playing around with the RT in Cyberpunk. Uh, what type I wonder of victory that... laps are you doing if you're like 1% to 2% in Starfield in some test locations? I, to be I, listen, fair, listen, considering how like shit, shit. Yeah. <laughs> considering and, and, how any, shit the any performance, performance was in Starfield, yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> you you, you want to squeeze it out where you can, right? Like, those percentage points will add up over time. <laughs> I very much look forward to, by the time I get around to Starfield and Lords of the Fallen, because that's one that also got a bunch of performance fixes with VKD 3D. By the time I get to those games, they'll be playable thoroughly playable so i very much look forward wait, to wait hold, hold on steam deck steam deck playable or playable yes <laughs> I, I, as we've determined playable has a very broad definition so unlike d9 v11 k vkd 3ds for dx12 titles right yes correct yeah. the, this uh this is actually originally from wine proper VKD 3D is was developed by Wine for Wine. This so is, yeah, this, this this is the uh, this is the Proton specific. Yeah, this is the, the branch that was ported to work with Proton specifically, which can have certain things that don't necessarily need to comply with how Wine builds things, which is why DXVK is still not a part of Wine. <laughs> Pedro, you didn't get the memo. Where the Wine project is doing their own thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Still waiting on that one. I mean, <laughs> I mean we, so we so is OBS for anymore. their green screen reimplementation, but I, I don't want to split hairs. Um, <laughs> it's a lot like DX11 support was the big thing that was missing from Wine. And I remember when DXVK first came out, and Deutschen made like the things like, yeah, this works. And he tried to get it supported officially by Wine, and Wine said no. No, we're we're doing our own implementation. How right. much of that do you think was like engineering versus like who's this motherfucker just coming out of nowhere and like making the thing that we couldn't get to work for the past decade? Mm-hmm. Well, the, the 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 other the other the other sort of fringe benefit of having D nine VK DXVK separate is that you know it's it's portable. Like React OS is using it, Windows users are using it uh, to get like. Yeah. Vulcan uh, DX12 support on like old Intel of proprietary drivers on Windows or no, using the XVK for I get that, DX11 but I, also, support. Like, I would like to live in a world where like this was just built into Wine. You didn't have to worry about it. Like you just yes. you know apt install Wine. Mm. That and would be perfect. <laughs> be I mean, go. hell, even Fedora is just like shipping DXVK as part of the default Wine install. They're like, I, I remember seeing that discussion on the forum. It's like. Well, why not? And no right. one could come up with a good reason as to why not. And so they did but it. You don't want to. Yeah, this version of wine is tainted. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It, it loads Colonel NVIDIA taints. specific calls. It's tainted. Yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Tainted bugs. Oh, no. A uh, couple of things to talk about this week. Uh, up to and including a little bit of news. Because I say what you want about Epic versus Google, but this trial has been just releasing some very fascinating information up to and including oh, yeah. like uh, the spotify deal did you guys see that no oh, okay here's the deal that they cut spotify on the google play store all right spotify how much you are we going to charge you and spotify's like i don't know nothing and google's like cool <laughs> but like doesn't that go against like your terms uh, that you have listed for oh, yeah. in the store and you're like what nobody's ever gonna find out <laughs> back channel scuttlebutt deals yeah no um or orville redenbacher stocks are going through the roof as a result of this fucking this fucking court case there's man. been some weird fascinating things to come out of that and this is no exception google apparently discussed teaming up with tencent to buy epic back in 2018 to which i have to go because can you fucking imagine how that would have went down you know 2018, everybody's chilling out. The world's a slightly less worse place than it is today. Google, <laughs> the world hadn't ended yet. <laughs> not yet, man. And Google's like, yo, man, let, let's get Epic. And they're like, we might need some help with that. And, all right, Tencent. All right, let's do this. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy Epic. Then we're going to launch Stadia. Then we're going to kill both of them. 
That'd be awesome. And everybody's like, whoa, we're Google. We love killing shit. That'd be awesome. Why do they really want that pick? Well, you don't have to really read between the lines here. They just come out and said it. was like, we just wanted to get that Fortnite money to like launch Stadia and it'll be good for the Play Store, you know, because it's the money printer. Still yeah, is, it, even all these years later. Like, why would you buy it? Well, yeah, that. Well, and like, it, it's, it's kind of like, if they if they had actually combined, it would have addressed the chief. It would have addressed the chief complaint of both of them. Could you imagine? Buy get your buy your games on Epic Game Store. Play them anywhere on Stadia. Mm-hmm. You get them mm-hmm. to keep. You can bring your saves everywhere. You can get free games that you can stream everywhere through Stadia. Like that that kill that addresses the value add proposition of St- both Stadia and the Epic Game Store in one fell swoop. If they had done that, that would have been it. I mean, think about it, man. Instead of the Steam Deck, you could have had the G Boy. Yeah, uh, no, it, it, it would it would be it would be the Nexus G, and they'd the kill type it after e. a year. Yeah, just to fuck with John. Yeah. Um, also, you know, maybe maybe Bandcamp wouldn't be in such a shitty situation right now. I don't know. Or it would be in an even worse situation. Just shut down entirely. Right at the bottom of the article, they said like another thing that came out: like Google has a seventy percent operating profit margin on the Play Store. Mm. So you can kind of see where like where uh, old sweetie. Tim, Tim Sweeney's coming in. I was like, come on, man. Why are you, why are you hitting us for like 30%? And they're like, because you ain't Spotify. Get out of here, nerd. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the other thing apparently Googs was floating was just straight up buying 20% of Epic out, right? Just be like. Now, fortunately, they hit back like somebody was like, why would we do that again? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fuck with people? I don't <laughs> Have some controlling shares. <laughs> no. You got to think about it, though. Like, there was. This is just. It is very fascinating if you're just tuning into like, hey, gaming's a thing. Like, Stadia was had enough push, it push behind it to where you're like, oh, they're serious about. It. Like, even we were like, oh, okay, they're serious about this. All right, they're throwing like big money at the okay, all the ads, and we're putting out the controllers and. People bought into it, man. A couple of people did. Couldn't kill it. Too big to die. I'm like, okay, fine. But it's Google. They killed it. it it's, it's executive infighting. This was someone's baby, and mm-hmm. they got ousted, and then everyone's like, well, we don't need this shit anymore. Get rid of it. There's a reason Kylo Ren destroyed his helmet in the first scene of the next movie. <laughs> All about directors, baby. <laughs> Put that goddamn helmet back on, Kylo. <laughs> What, what are you talking about, Pedro Mateus? Re, Pedro Renteus? <laughs> Pedro Renteus. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, compared to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam, Adam, Dri- Adam, Adam Driver, Driver is way hotter than you, but, like, marginally. <laughs> yeah. Like, to, just, just, just from, like, the body perspective. And my, my nose looks uh, proportional by comparison. So. <laughs> and I have big schnoz, so, you Can know... We- can can we petition Adam Driver to play Pinocchio in the new live action Pinocchio? <laughs> no, he's going to be he's playing the character in Liza P the movie. Mm-hmm. I would watch that honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's like an old Pinocchio. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pinocchio. I, <laughs> the the, the War Pinocchio. War Pinocchio. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, at least it's not Pornocchio. <laughs> it probably is. Sure, that Nuts. exists. Yeah, we, yes. there are <laughs> before we get. To a little bit of hate mail, uh, another thing that happened this week that I wanted to talk about, just because it affects all of us, and it will, or it has, or uh, however you want to spend it. Probably will, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Earlier this week, Ubisoft uh, had a little oopsie doodle, maybe, allegedly, question mark, with Assassin's Creed and their in-game Black Friday pop-up ad, technical error. Yes, a sales banner that- appeared when loading a map. I-, I think we have video evidence of this, maybe? Can I click on that? Let's, let's, let's check the playback, John. Oh, no. Okay, I can actually... Good. Eurogamer. <laughs> Dynafire. <laughs> this, this is like download.com, which is the real download link. Right? Uh-oh. Boop. Okay, so Ho okay. was playing the game, and he wanted to go to the world map. Hit. Start. Go to the world map. What do we get? Let's see. Let's, let's replay the video again. Ruling on the field... And boop, a 20% off <laughs> Assassin's Creed Mirage taking up all Black the Friday screen. Sale. Take advantage. <laughs> now, 
You know what? I, I don't know where I, I want to fall on. Like, if you dare to pause your game to check a world map, you know, oh, Ubisoft's like, well, guess what, buddy? That's an advertising. And according to Ubi, this was a technical glitch. Hear them yeah, out. You're supposed to see it now. Hear you're them out, though. <laughs> like, if you're familiar with Ubisoft games, which Ubisoft games are the most part, might work on your Steam Deck and on Linux. But if you played an Assassin's Creed game, you know that entire UI, like, and it got comically bad with odyssey like just like are you is this a joke with dlc and buying like odyssey box i mean it was fucking shameless still is like if i showed this to somebody as a mock-up and they didn't know they're like okay that's a funny joke i'm like that's not a joke that's how the ui like as soon as you go into inventory like there's an it's it's hammered in the reason i'm bringing this up is even this this was a technical glitch it was due to the fuster cluck of infrastructure that is built into these games for these ads and shit that are cluttering up every other part of the game. Just not in game yet. So what mm-hmm. I want to ask you, gentlemen, what are your thoughts on advertising in general? But more importantly, Ubisoft's dumb enough to try this. This could have been an, the NVIDIA move of like, we need to find where the dumb line is. Um, yeah, no, that is, that is 100% what it was. It was the test. is like, okay, how will people react to this? How many uh, okay. people are going to bitch about oh. This was a technical error, no. right? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I fully expected EA to do it before Ubisoft, if we're being, you know, <laughs> for going down the greedy list, uh, Activision, EA, then Ubisoft. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they gotta they gotta show these ads to people who bought into quartz i mean if you those, get one those, more those are, ha- those are your known marks. yeah we, we have an ad block voltron <laughs> but like i i, I don't know because like a couple months ago we were talking about like the the recruitment ads in uh euro tr- or in american truck simulator yeah. right mm-hmm. and like that that is the same thing ostensibly right like um not not it's not like self-advertising but it, it's it not is, as it intrusive is either <laughs> right right and, and 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 so the question is like are are we and I, I guess to Ben's point about like the the the, top, the conversation here, um, like what what is the maximum level of uh, intrusivity and do and like at what point does it stop start lowering the the cost of the game? Like if I'm buying a game that I know is going to have ads in it, I don't want to pay full price for it. Um, <laughs> Fuck you, you're paying full price. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. And and like and is, is this going to be a thing like um to to keep the to keep like Game Pass at ten bucks? Is this going to be? We're going to start seeing more ad subsidies or ad subsidization as as a result of this kind of thing. Well, they're not going to leave um, money on the table. Now, um, even like is uh, I played through a lot of Odyssey, and it never like outside of them having to rearchitect Odyssey because the game was built from the ground up to like get you to buy shit, and they went back and Ubisoft de Ubisoft it a little bit, so you just hit like this gulf. Ubisoft, yeah, <laughs> of where it just turns into this un maintainable grind fest and i was like i'm done with this but uh even with their stores and like the points you know pay to win type shit it was at least on its own little tab you know but let's go back to the old days of when game companies just cluttered their bullshit unnecessary launcher with adverts i'm looking at you uh cd project red Larians is also pretty bad about that. Buy Divinity, buy our other games. Right. This, this is like, is there any technical reason for this launcher? Yeah, to sell more of our shit to you. And we'll put yeah. a play button on there. You click, it was like, but I already clicked play button. But ours works better. And this is just a, another example because Ubisoft was also one of the biggest opponents of. Um, basically releasing their games on pc because all pc gamers were pirates Mm -hmm. they were they actually came out and actually said something along those lines uh back in the day so there was for a bit there they didn't release a lot of games on pc pedro if they ubisoft could figure out how to wait up like fucking uh you know answer black flag which they can't yeah uh and the at this point i'm pretty sure if this is a like a thing that is pulling down from the server to show you the ad mm-hmm. the pirated version of that particular assassin's creed game probably doesn't show you that so once Are again we... the pirated version is giving you a better experience than if you paid for the actual game i mean outside Are we of this fucking get virus for steam? Have, but if this is not look at that <laughs> are, 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 are we gonna get ad block for steam are we gonna have to like this is go and like Jordan. 
Yeah, like, uh, what, what do we have to do, do, like, host files at, like, the gateway nope. level to block uh, traffic? No, and, uh, and... this is, I'm going to be putting in early access next week, Steam Block Origin. <laughs> stu, stu Block. Uh, to help, uh, yeah, cut down the data collection. Like, that's no joke with, like, the default Unity bullshit tracking. Same way with Unreal Yeah, Engine. That, that's on by default. How, how, how do you think they're going to detect those per install fees, oh, man? man? We got to keep, keep shareholders safe. The... I, I personally don't like it. I've always found it distasteful. If my first experience with the game, after I get through your 30 to 45 seconds of unskippable bullshit, mm-hmm. escape button, bitch. Like, seriously, don't make me say That is the quickest oh, way to get me not to come back to your game if I got to skip through. I remember remember yeah. DVDs and the unskippable trailers at oh, yeah, the beginning yeah, yeah. of the... Uh-huh. Yeah. Dude. That's, this, this is why you download movies. This, this, is, this is why you learned how to rip DVDs. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah. But the first thing I'm greeted after that is like an advert to like buy, like, it's like, hey, I'm looking, give us more. You didn't spend enough money. We'd like some more, more money. Yeah. yeah, more money, please. Mm-hmm. And we'll give you the full game. I'm like, full game. I mean, our DLC, I'm sorry. Uh, On disc, yeah, DLC. we'll give you the actual it's, ending. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the content is there, but you need to provide the correct license to unlock it. We're, like, you know, it's. We're at a very fine teetering point right now, especially like you think you have to be fucking careful with that because at a point, like, which I'm very close to, where I'm just like, fuck this game, I'm going to get a refund. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like, I say that shit because I'll do that shit. And like, you hit me with something egregious enough. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. Usually for me, it, that happens pretty early on, especially if it's a game that requires like any kind of precision with controls. If the game doesn't allow me to rebind controls from was to the directional arrows, that's an instant refund. That sorry, I can't play your fucking game. Fuck you. Um. So yeah, that that but that's me i have a bit more of an accessibility requirement in that respect on account of my hands not being used to play with your toes <laughs> that too <laughs> but yeah I, it is i, I want to see pedro's that, mouth controller i want to see him use his tongue i, I want to one i i, I want to 1v1 some people with some toe fights man on like street I, fighter I, 5 i, 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 I want to 1v1 pedro with my tongue i mean what <laughs> Uh, <laughs> deep loving kisses in the mouth uh, but yeah it is th- that is very much for me that's a showstopper if you're if your game doesn't let me play it properly mm-hmm. refund okay right then and we there got that. so back to the advertising part mm-hmm. I think I think something like that like what happened there like you pause the game to open the map to go to the inventory to whatever and the first thing you see is a full screen pop-up ads like buy our new game fuck you <laughs> all right how about this how about this all right we, we need to dial this back i'm channeling how this fucking meeting went <laughs> the day after the internet blew up okay they don't like that how about hear me out if the game's been paused for more than 30 seconds then we put the ad up so well in the middle of doing something no paused so you oh, pause like to, idle. Yeah, right. yeah okay. you, you get up, you do something, then we can put the ad up. So when they come back, they'll have a new experience and a sales opportunity. Yes. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I think when it's going to be like the sliding scale of thing, right? Like I, we're, we're talking about the Oblivion horse uh, in, in Discord earlier today. Uh, and like once upon a time, that was egregious. And now this is the standard. So I think it's going to be one of these like boil the frog moments. Remember people losing their goddamn mind about the uh, World of Warcraft uh, mount? Yeah. That you had to buy? Mm-hmm. That it was dumb? No one was ever going to spend any money on a yeah. end game item? Like that was ridiculous. Blizzard. Remember, you- yeah. Remember when the Oblivion horse armor was the single most egregious DLC that ever was? But, but like, and, and this is what I mean. This is the boil the frog moment. But we're, then people we're, gonna, like us, we're gonna get the bad thing. No, well, I mean, they're, they're gonna walk it back, and mm-hmm. then we're just gonna slowly get it over the next five, I, ten years. I, I just like going back to this DLC thing because all of us were like, that's dumb. No one will ever buy that. And everybody was like, watch us. 
Um, <laughs> well, so so I I wonder though how, what 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 the what the conversion rate on that was in terms of like people Dump who are anti full of money, Jordan. Well, no, no, no. Let, let me finish my fucking thought. No, it was <laughs> then screw you. Um, the, the 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 people who were anti buying horse. How many of those people are did actually like make the switch to buying cosmetic DLC? Like, I, w- I wonder how many people have changed their mind over over the time, or if it's Th- if that's it's the just thing the, you. Or if cosmetic it's the, DLC. New, the, the new audience, it's the new audience that's more willing to buy this stuff, right? You see that a lot nowadays because people will go, it's just cosmetic. So mm-hmm. as long as it's cosmetic, it doesn't have any effect on gameplay proper, then it's fine. Because that's it is. acceptable. It, yeah, it is hundred <laughs> percent. Like if that bugs you, you need to get your shit together. You need to be focused on self improvement, not playing video games. Or or, but, or, yeah, or your or your then you walk back kid. a few years and you look, oh yeah, no, the horse armor DLC that was shit. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Who is it now? <laughs> also, don't give your kids money. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't 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 give your kids a credit card. <laughs> I mean, you can, but this is going to fix itself. Trust me. We we're talking about Fortnite earlier. That is an entirely um, FOMO-driven, cosmetic-driven economy. Dude, okay, all right. <laughs> what is the current conversion to like um, chore bucks to swag bucks? Hmm. So yeah, no, <laughs> I won't give you money, but I'll buy you like five thousand V bucks so you can use in Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, does uh, advertising in like movies bother you? Because all movies are just completely filled top to bottom with yeah. um adverts these that, days. So, that like okay, integrated advertising like you have product placement in the background. That's not literally stopping you from playing the game to show your fucking ad. <laughs> So like and, and and there there are varying degrees of it because like there's the thirty rock take where it's just like ah yes we we we're here at Burger King for no reason other than to talk about how great Burger King is they offered to pay underwrite this episode so we're just okay here to talk hang about on you uncharted shut, you sh- subway you, you, the the, you, the subway thing you, uh, I, Loki okay yeah Loki. oh yeah Mc- McDonald's McDonald's <laughs> that's yeah, all we right. can say it's like damn that check must have been no. Well, no, they they had that location for one fucking day, <laughs> so they're just like, we're gonna, we're gonna do all, we're gonna get all our shooting done in this fucking McDonald's. They they, they crawled up in some McDonald's, man. I was like, okay, they, they, they did, and it's it's clearly McDonald's, but they don't show the fucking M. They don't like show any of the iconography. They they don't directly state it's a McDonald's. And uh, like, you might need to go back and pay more attention because they refer to it as a McDonald's. Uh, do they to, refer to yeah, it? hundred percent. Okay, all right. <laughs> Because there, like, there, yeah. there, there was nothing dodgy about it. I was like, no, this is a McDonald's that uh, I we don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, <laughs> I it, it, yeah, they, was, but like, yeah, they, they spend a lot of time at that. It, it was egregious enough to where it was charming. Is like one of those things, right? You're like, right, yeah. So, so, so there, there's a way you can do it to like make it make it work. It, yeah, and and again, it, it's intrusiveness, right? Like if you if you can if you can see it and go like, oh, yeah, 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 but like if the plot stops for 20 minutes to talk about the Big Mac and it's not some Rick and Morty-esque rant about <laughs> how the Big Mac is going to gain arms and legs and devour us if we don't eat it first. Then like, yeah, I I, I don't know. But like, but what if it's it, Samuel L. Jackson telling you about Royale with cheese? <laughs> but or, or what about the fucking like demented quizno subs ad what what if we start getting those those in motherfuckers start chasing you around <laughs> right like <laughs> free refund <laughs> with nope. refund right that, that, that's that's the that's the final boss in the new resident evil it's just <laughs> fucking quizno sandwiches i'm trying to think of like the earliest example that i can remember there were a few games in like late 90s early 2000s the first one i noticed you- was nine inch nails when yeah, you quit quite- the game, it would give you like buy our newer games. Oh, okay, and well, they- yeah, okay. yeah, Doom, yeah. the original Doom shareware. When you closed, uh-huh. it would give you a text message of it, like, as oxygen pervades our atmosphere, should, should Doom, and you could buy it. And, yeah, and uh, same with uh, OG Diablo. It had uh, when you booted that up, that had a trailer for StarCraft. Yeah, like so, so like there, there is a degree of necessary advertising, but it, it is finding that line, and I think like pause. Po- Pausing, like, I, I, I don't know. Okay, I, how, I, how about this? Your point of, like, if it's 30 seconds, show an ad, I think that's that's reasonable. Get fucked. I just bought a game. I, nah, I paid you money for an entertainment no. experience. Get your goddamn advertising sales shit Okay, out. yeah. You, you, okay, if, well, Especially okay, a AAA-priced if, 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 game. If, if, if we, if, okay, well, if we want to smoke crack and go to that reality, sure. 
but it's still going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, just not going to buy I'm the game. About levels though, of like, acceptability. Yeah, that's also going to happen. It's like, fuck this game. I have, I don't have like a crippling addiction to goddamn video games, dude. I'm like, if you're going to hit me like that, you better make it you, 1999. So, not- so if, if that just became standard, would you would you just like say goodbye to video games? Or just, whatever games predated that, that's what I have. No, no, no. So would I ones? continue playing video games like I currently do? Yes. And pretty I'm easy. pretty sure if that becomes the default in the AAA space. A lot more people will start paying attention to the indie games. Well, that's it. I think it's going to become like, more common in the indie space, though. That's, that's where wouldn't. they. Oh boy, good luck with that. I mean, that, they, listen, they will that's burn a lot of goodwill and a lot of bridges if they try. <laughs> it, for me, it boils down to you vote with your wallet. Like, you know, I, I'm not going to sit and bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get fisted, and I don't like getting fisted, and be like, oh, well, you know, you just got to deal with it. Now. I'm like, I don't, I don't have to get fisted. And I'm like, you know what? To like what I was saying, Jordan wasn't even a snide thing. Like I usually play old games anyway. So, yeah. how many AAA titles do you cur- have? Have you bought in the last five years? I've maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe yeah. one a year. Like yeah. I, I think I'll manage. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm no, just saying, uh, like, the, the, I, like I, I think this is like un- the unfortunate reality is I think this is just going to become more and more commonplace. And like as as like game prices continue to go down because we're willing to pay less and less and less and less they're going to at least especially in the indie scene because you're not you're not going to pay fifty dollars for an indie game you're not i don't i don't you might pay fifty dollars for hollow knight i don't think most people would pay fifty dollars for hollow knight hollow knight was famously um, 20 bucks right but which still which still falls into which still falls into indie price but what i'm saying what i'm saying is like there may be a time where games like Hollow Knight need to start including advertisements because the only sales and only plays they get are through stuff like Game Pass, well, and they're getting a pittance. Here's how you do that. You release an ad-free version of the game. Make it cost more. And you more. charge money for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get, like, the YouTube premium version of the game. Like, you, you give me that option? Right. Okay. Because it's not the ads so much; it's the data and tracking that come along with the adverts. So they're not just showing you a banner; they're just keeping track of when it showed up, what you were doing when it showed up, how long you looked at it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, it's it, it. I would be okay if okay. It's an Assassin's Creed game instead of the seventy dollars that it costs to mm-hmm. get you that game. It's free, but it's got ads. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like this is Ubisoft, yeah, but, though. It's 1999, yeah. but it's good. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and again, that's the thing. Like for 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 a subsidized experience, I think I'm a little more tolerable. I'm a little more more tolerant. Subsidized than 100% if I, for, but to yeah, like something mm-hmm. that you know, talk about the dystopian shit. They don't want that. They want the full price. No, of, of, and, of course not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, no. I, ideally, they want you to see the ads and pay a subscription and pay an upfront yeah, fee. Perfect like, world. Yeah. yeah. Or you would pay per per instance of doing the thing, right? That would that would be ideal. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, write in. Let us know what you think. Bo- you- Bobby, hire us. Bobby Kotick. <laughs> if you like ads in your video cooker. games, if you don't, do you get rid of them, or are you like, are you going to put up with them? Are you going to be like me? I'm like, I am just, you know, I I'm right where I can be. You know, clutter the interface up to a point, but if it, if they ever cross that membrane of like start like visibly showing up and like hey buy this shit what i'm trying to i I had a fairly violent reaction to payday 2 because that was up to that point the single most egregious like bullshit advertising game just buy all the dlcs the top button was buy dlc the bottom button was buy dlc what i'm about to bring up i know your brain just went there what 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 is the dark pattern? What is the dark pattern mastery that will just drive people to accidentally click on the fucking purchases? Because well, that that's what they're gonna do. We right? were playing it tonight in the after shows. And what game am I talking about? Uh, I don't know. A game where you have roughly a seven to eight percent chance of clicking on something that is not going to take you directly to a store to buy something. Oh, stumble, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole dark pattern, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 that, that's but, but, a straight up mobile game, though, and it's free but, to but, play. But, like, it, so. but it can get worse. It can get worse. So much worse. Oh man. All right. Uh, so yeah, send us an email. Leave a comment. What you think about ads and games? And uh, we will definitely get back to you. you. Might read it here on this very show. If you want to use our contact form, 
we got that if you want to reach out and touch uh, if, if you want to rub on Pedro's nose or maybe Pedro's toes, however you want to do it, <laughs> you know, toes and toes nose. are pornographic nowadays. So get, yeah. get, get that Pedro glows, <laughs> fill it out and it's working and uh, we'll share it about we'll, we'll trade it and like look at it and read it. And uh, we might put it up like this zip tastic from Jan or Jan. Yeah, Jan. The, I, I work with a guy named Jan. So it's spelled like that. I don't really? know. It says back back in my day, we played DOS <laughs> games to pass the time. Now there's a lot of those old games are stored in RAR files, which can be a bit tricky to open. I've been using WinRAR through Wine, but I'm wondering if there's a better option that's native to my system and has a nice graphical user interface GUI to make things easier. Right. Yeah, file now, roller for, and unrar. First things first. You get a point if I want to believe you're just fucking with us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. When, when, <laughs> want to. <laughs> However, <laughs> Uh, yeah, all of the GUIs like Arc, File Roller, X Archiver, um, can you install and a, a, All right, and can, is Winora or anything like that available in Motris? You can probably a, make it work with like, Wine. No, I, yes. I, no, I do. I'm asking: Is there a fucking installer script? I want to know if there's a like path to like this being believable. So, what 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 I want to know? People send us some hate mail for this. Have has anyone actually bought a Winora license? That's what I want to know. No. Has someone taken out their credit card and, and purchased WinRAR for real? LGR did. Dude, <laughs> LGR made a video it, that he paid. WinRAR and WinZip uh, quit working, quit functioning with a undoable license. Society would collapse overnight with the, the <laughs> amount of like, um, what is the one well, built yeah, into no, like, GNOME? Uh, uh, file Roller. File Roller. File Roller. Use, yeah. use the, that one. Because like whatever Debian ships without a box, it's the one that kind of looks like fire ro file roller, but it sucks. X Archiver, ass. Yeah. that might be it. Yes, <laughs> uh, X Archiver is the one that looks like file roller, but it's a bit shit. Uh, the um, yeah, there's Arc for KDE. There's Engrampa for Mate. There's a few others, but yeah, you just need to download Unrar. It's in your distros repositories or P seven zip dash full. That gives you access to everything basically. So. Yeah. Do you really need a GUI though? I mean, it, this kind of depends. Like, are, are we talking about? Uh, I I just I'm, don't run into RAR files very often. That's not true at all. And I know the place where you do. No, I have a script that. <laughs> but but yeah, it runs the command that, line. That utility. script runs on RAR. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't run into that. I just <laughs> click on the thing and it launches. Right. Right. And, and and this is this is the strategy that I suggest to young is to find some auto extraction utility that just does it for you and then not have to worry about it. But if you have an RAR installed, file roller will give you the files inside. It'll yes. be a nice GUI. The, 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 the et cetera, et cetera. The, the, the CLI isn't bad. It's like unrar X to uh, extract the thing. And if you have, it'll like auto detect the multi-part but RARs the, as well. The, so. the, the graphical user interface was a, a, spe a specified requirement. I <laughs> think they should I just mean, Jan should just suck Pedro, it up. Pedro, Pedro, Mateus, both <laughs> X and two. Wayland are graphical user interfaces, and he's going to open a virtual terminal. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can open a terminal in a GUI. No, no, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> Every time you need to un extract a RAR file, boot into single user mode, and then use the command line Dude, to extract your. I package. will give this a little bit of advice because this is something you might genuinely run into. Make sure you uh, install good RAR, good on RAR, which is yes, not the, the free version. Or the yeah, the, the one that is now not patented and cupboard anymore, the, but it uh, was for many, the, many the, years. The hippie version? No, no, I get the evil corporate version because it works, man. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like MP3 these days. It's like, oh, no, it's like, oh, the MP3s, codex. Um, well, now you can just play your MP3s. Yeah, but those people are still mad that nobody picked up Og Vorbis, man. Fl Flack. Yeah, <laughs> Flack, Flack's, Flack's got traction in the audio world because it's a great way to like reduce your masters. But, um, yeah, the OGV and AUG, like, it just never took off. Unfortunate. Cookies. We got into something uh, inadvertently, I will say, last <laughs> week. Uh, just straight up turned it into a video game. Yes. Uh, Matt, Matt says, watching you go through crazy cookie cutters was the most fun I had this week. Wow. Okay. No, that's not a metaphor. That's no, literal. We're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're 12, dude. And... Uh, Somewhere in here. Uh, Somewhere in all this 12-year-old art. Is <laughs> right. Hey, there we go. More 12-year-old. Yeah, so I... I'd, That's Ohio. As, 
Yeah, clearly. That's Wyoming, you dumbass. Wyoming. <laughs> yes, it's clearly. always Wyoming. It's always Wyoming, man. <laughs> Uh, a subreddit that I'd followed for a long, long time, and uh, we we just like played around with it, and I revisited it, and it turned it. It used to be a legitimate subreddit <laughs> where people were like, what, "What? What the hell do you think this is?" And people would just like have guesses. Now it's just turned into an art project. Mm-hmm. People where, make their own cookie cutters. <laughs> yes, and well, they, well, they have I think legitimate cookie cutters, but then people fill it in. They've turned it into a coloring book. And it's gossamer. <laughs> So we're, a penis baby. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling Wyoming and or Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Yep, Wyoming. 100%. <laughs> See, told a you. Great Wyoming. state of Minnesota. <laughs> eh? It's always Wyoming. <laughs> when in doubt, the answer is Wyoming. Uh, <laughs> Take yeah. that to your driving test, by the way. When in doubt, Wyoming. I kind of want to know the origin story of Wyoming. Why? Inside the cookie cutter? Yeah, well, because I'm trying to come up with, like, a rule set, and I think Wyoming is, like, reset board. It moved next <laughs> Isn't, isn't Wyoming cutter. just, like, a big square? Like, the actual I think, state of the shape is a square? Why, I'm not good on U.S. geography, but uh, it's one of the square <laughs> ones, I think. I think it's higher than I think it is. Yeah, why, oh, yeah, why, yeah, I just Googled that. Wyoming is a big-ass fucking square. All right. I think Josh lives in Wyoming. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it was something like someone posted a legitimate like what is this and someone must have said oh yeah that looks like Wyoming it's about the right shape <laughs> and it kind of stuck <laughs> okay because that's usually how those go <laughs> it's something stupidly simple that just stinks. <laughs> Why can't they just come up with hellox like normal people? Why is it going to be something <laughs> weird like Wyoming? Wyoming's scary, man. It's it's the it's those Wyoming wildebeests. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap us up for our uh, holiday-ish type edition. Wanksgiving. Wanksgiving. All the turkeys were given <laughs> during Wanksgiving. Is is that our mad rhyme? Well, it's 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 no nut November, so it's Thanksgiving, right? <sighs> Toes and nose, I thought it baby. Was old nut November now. Toes and nose, all the way down. If you want to get a hold of me, uh, I'm on Blue Sky under something. I fuck all idea, but if you're on Mastodon, I'm uh, at Vin on Mastodon.com and on Zitter, just at Vin Stone. I'm always in our Discord, uh, saying hi, hanging out, doing things, talking smack with these guys and everybody else who is a patron or a uh, Twitch sub. Link that up. Also, we get IRC and uh, all the other places. You can find us. I'm I'm Jordan. I'm your favorite no leg you month. You can find me on Mastodon at Frojo <laughs> at Mastodon.com. I'm on Blue Sky now. I guess I gotta post some stuff. Do you know to what that. your Blue I'm Sky is? At Frojo.bsky.social. I had to look right, it up. You win. Fuck. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm still on Twitter at the Burning Fool. Yeah. Yeah. No. I I am not on the uh, Blue Meth, but you can find me on Mastodon. It's um, at unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.athleticsgamecast.com. It's yeah, I, I'm just yeah, gonna well, stick with on, uh, when, Which <laughs> one's your alt mastodon? Oh, uh, I do have an alt mastodon. It's uh, I don't remember my exact secret, username. That's where he posts all the nudes. <laughs> toes and nose 420. <laughs> so it's X-X on mastodon. Toes two. and nose 420. Toes and nose uh, it's uh, time for some credits. Yes, <laughs> I'm a genius with a capital J. <laughs> it's why no, it's uh, Pedro <laughs> underscore Mateus <laughs> at mass dot two. <laughs> oh, that's very professional, just like our advisors, Omega and our Theron, and our less professionals, uh, executive producers, Barb Bramp, Scott Michaud, Mike G, uh, Scott, Tomas, drummer, Hakeem, Dave, Ishep, and Ian. Chicago kicks butt when super that's still empty. Glorious egg roll and nubbin in the sea monster. Renoa, Ryder X, Mac, and a trudgy. Veritanuda, Justin, nubbin, Darkwing, System D, Dancing Joe, Ogie One, and Kyrillo. All the death notes from Nova at the chairlings. You're all truly Incredible wonderful. Lyric. Didn't we have someone you know, we needed to thank as well? Jason? Did we? Jason! You mentioned Jason! Something. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no, it was the guy from Calabra. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> thank you again, guy from Calabra, a.k.a. Mark. Yes. Mark, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Guy Labra. 
<laughs> and now he's never going to email us again. <laughs> Love you, Mark. <laughs> Dynify, everyone. We'll see you next week. If you or someone you love has suffered from Guy Labora, you might be entitled to financial compensation. Five dudes.